han sa att han inte var för. He's coming back. He's coming back. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel here and watch what happens next. In today's video, by the title you can tell, we will be diving into the 10th and 11th episodes of Scam. Um, I've literally been, literally been dreading this, um, this video because I feel like last episode, but well, the last video was a lot for me, um, because it touched on topics that was kind of like, you know, really touchy-feely. And like, it put me in a weird space. So prepare for this video. I legit had to binge watch um, Heartstopper, which like, man, I need me a nickname in my life because who absolutely doesn't? But no, seriously, because I feel like the next couple episodes are going to be like really heavy. I feel it. I feel it. So without like further ado, I'm not going to tell you guys heads off. We can get right into the video. Here we go. He's so sweet. He's trying. I know it has to be a difficult situation for her because I know her mind is like going like 10,000 miles per hour right now. But I mean, how could, how would you respond to it? I would respond the same way. Like, I just asked you out and you asked me, do I have something else to do today? Ma'am. I'm noticing in the last couple of episodes too that the episodes have been like getting longer because I know normally it's like 20, 25 minutes, 21 minutes, um, but it's recently getting into the 40s. I think this episode, episode 10, is the longest episode of the season, which is like at 48 minutes. Um, so I'm guessing like, it's pretty good because it like, you can't tell a story within that amount of time. So it's really good to get that long time so you can like fill it in a little bit more with more detail and, and you know, backstory. Um, but yeah, I kind of like it. Yes, so I did. What's up, Rand? You're Good, you're awake, <laughs> sir. Vi har laget frukost på sängen till dig. Oh, they're so cute. Jag är inte sulten. They should tell that something is wrong with her. I mean, that, which I do, I do think they do, which is why they like going to the stream. Is a lit. Jag skulle jag sa att jag inte var sulten. For them. Vad är det som är galt? Yes, it's cute. Get into it. Du vet att du inte kommer klara allt i världen alene. No. Det är bara feber. Jag gör det två dagar. I love that Eskild is trying. I, I I really do love that because I feel like you know if you see someone in need and you see them struggling, please reach out to them. Why even the 17th of May breakfast tomorrow, right? Why can't you just say you coming to the breakfast the breakfast tomorrow, like? Yes, baby, let's get some closure. That, no, absolutely not. You can talk on the phone, we're not meeting. Do not meet with him. I really do not want to see this man on my screen. I really do not. Please, it can help me. It's weird. I'm to find out why you have spared to sell in three days. I mean, just tell him. I think he'll be a little understanding. Yeah, I'm sick. Go with Jack of Vance. Hope. This girl is that you don't have the desire to be with me. So I'm going to go to sleep till I die. Nora, don't. Nora, please don't do this. But I will do that. Okay. Woo. Jag jag får inte skriva på det. Jag för jag klarar inte att tänka för det var för det liksom hjärtat mitt driver av dunker och Oh. Det liksom det kändes det kändes ut som att jag kommer till att dö. Du kommer inte att dö. No, you're not baby. You're not. Just lay down. Y'all just lay down and cuddle. Så jag jag må leven. Nu då. Du må inte. Right, you don't have to. But I know you want to do it to like further your, you know, to set your career within like journalism. But at the same time, you know, you gotta push them into hell first. You gotta push them into hell first. Speaking of mental health, today we are sponsored by. <laughs> this song in the background is kind of like beautiful. Like I'm walking in, like I'm walking in the forest. You know, with fairies and. You know, all types of stuff around me. Okay, so I get why people didn't like him in the beginning. Um, but I think um, he's 
turned it around for like as of episode 10 he's turned it around he's become like a lovable character to me um unless he does something completely off the rails between the next two episodes i really like william i really do I feel like he's gonna look at her computer because the brother's gonna send her a message. It's been set up that way. And he's gonna think that her and the brother got something going on when in actuality they don't. Maybe I'm wrong. Why are we opening her laptop unless we're gonna write the the message? I mean, we're gonna write the, the article for her. Why are we going through her laptop? This is an invasion of privacy. Is he gonna write it for her? Oh, so he didn't find it. Wow, okay, I was wrong. The writer said, y'all are not gonna predict this. I love that for them. Don't be predictable. It's not cute. Ska på 17 mai frukost hos Eva om 30. Jeg kjører det. I like this, that they're like getting her out of her funk. Like, even if she, they're not pressuring her to tell them, they're just like trying to get her up, like, up and running. Og så har jeg funnet en skjol til deg. En dritstykk. Huh? He's trying. He's too cute. His efforts are so cute. <laughs> she got on the dress. I bet she got on the dress. She do. Oh. There are some things that I have to find out before I can tell you about it. Just for ten minutes, Claude. A stand-up man who's not rushing her to tell him something that's very hard for her. Love that. Oh. William, what? We love him. Well, not we, obviously, because all you guys don't like him, but I love him so much. Let's go. She said it back. She's never said it back, then she said it back. Oh, so that Constitution Day is like our um, 4th of July? Yes, we said on the 15th. And she's just sitting there shut up herself and nobody's necessarily like really paying attention to her, including her in conversations. That's something that I want them to do because you have to pay attention to your friends. She's literally like sitting there as a shell. They don't even know her. I thought I would read the article. Oh, he submitted it? These are people, but from another culture than us. People who have come to the end of what I think are our values. But it's that and not... Well written. That was so beautiful. I I don't know. It can it can only have six months to live, like. But I'm glad that she's talking to people about this. So, I mean, what are you doing? That he took advantage of you, Mama. I can't get mad now. I don't know. Oh, true that too. You are a young fru. You have noticed it. I'm not a young fru. But I think even still, you probably wouldn't know the difference. Because you, if you only had sex once, I think that you would know the difference between your body, like um, how it would feel. I'm so happy that she has them to tell right now. Like she can legit just talk about it. Det her da, men jeg og alle vet om deg og William nå da. We all know, baby. It's not a secret. Vi må dra til legevakten. Altså... De kan hjelpe oss å finne ut hva det er som har skjedd. But she don't know. Du bare drar til legen. Jeg skjønner ikke hvordan du ikke har fått med deg det. I don't... I'm finding a hard time grasping the fact that Vilda is being so, like, forthcoming. And I mean, I kind of understand it, but I don't understand the rhetoric because I feel like a lot of people don't know that. And if they do know that, and it happens to them, that's not the first thing that goes through their mind. They may be trying to process a lot that's going on. Like, what actually happened? Could this actually be? Like, how am I feeling? Like, oh, my, oh no. Like, it's so many thoughts that goes into your mind when situations like this happen. And I think that people who don't go through this, oftentimes, you know, we have this thing about us that we think that we're supposed to be like, oh, you're supposed to did this and did this and thought this and thought that. You don't know what you would do until you are in a situation. So I say that to Vilda, to anybody out there who's watching this video and you have that ready of mind, I would say, te like, I would say legit, never force that onto someone because you never know what it's like being in a situation until you have been in it. Altså, det er, det er, jo, det er jo ikke noe bevis igjen nå. Og det er, det er jo ingenting... I mean, I mean, you could sue him. Vi må tro på rettferdighet. Hvis ikke vi tror på det, hvem skal tro på det da? 
Hey man, Vilda. I'm not gonna cry this episode. I'm trying not to. They're laying the fields on hard, but I'm fighting it. And I also love that they're representing their culture and just, you know, celebrating their country um, and showcasing the inside of the, this season. And they censor a lot of this stuff out because I don't want to, um, you know, trigger anyone. I didn't think about that in the last episode, but I don't want to trigger anyone. So I may cut a lot of this conversation out um, that they've been having, um, especially using the specific words. Hello? Ew. Gutte. Eller det virket som du hadde litt uh, nøye på den chatten. So maybe I don't think they did anything. The way he's like going about it, I don't think they did anything. Du blekka helt ute. Ja. Yeah. His face made me want to punch it. Like I want to punch it. En ganske bolsi da. Å være frekk mot den som sitter på nakemildra deg. But the thing about it is, why would you ever like take a picture of her undressed? If that's your, bo your brother's girlfriend. Var det en trussel? Ja, da var det vel en trussel, da. He is so ill, like ill, 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 ill. Du befinner deg rett og slett i den situasjonen at du kommer til å bli dømt. Exactly. Exactly, she's under 18, it's against it, like... Sir, <laughs> make threats all you want. Ifølge straffeloven, paragraf 200... Get into him. For da begynner du å trene en del andre paragrafer. <laughs> yeah, you didn't think that through, chinky minx. I had to pluck up the sofa in the kitchen if I was there. Yikes. This is a message from Nico. What's that? He's okay. Say that you don't have to lie to me. Oh my god. I'm going to explain all. Say, I don't know. I hate this because I feel like she could at least like told him like I don't know I think he put something in my drink I think he you know you know whatever whatever like she just let it just hang like sis come on like give him something like just don't have his mind running like that like I get you you know you're doing your crisis too but at the same time come on now come on hi at least for a second round then oh no no that's fine if you guys catch it, you catch it. I ska snacka med Mari imorgon. I think it's best. So you know what happened. Är du sulten? Eh, uh, nej. Jag har lagt ut något gott I love that she's trying to get her to eat. Det som är så bra med tortilla. Är att jag lagt upp potet. What she learned from her. Mm. Feel the. Han måste stivelse. Så mye energi. Vilda. Mm. I'm not really speaking as much, but I love this so much. I really do. Hi. She looks so cute. Hva heter du om jeg lå med Nico? Nei. Er du sikker? Ja. I'm so happy for her. Like right now, I'm really so happy. That you loved him, that it was good. But how did they end the bit with her? Because when Nico came, I woke up and I said that he had to lay down. I love that she's getting this clarity. Nico, stakkars fi. I just remember that when I was little, so I played. Are we getting the best over him? I really don't care too much about him to care, like to even want to hear. Stole the bike to Stefan and crashed it in the sand. Med Villa Mamma. Mm. Men uh, Amalie, hun... Hun brak ryggen og døde. Wow. That's a lot. Men Villa Mamma er en fin fyr, da. Jeg skjønner at du synes at han er... Yeah, he is a good guy. I tell you all the time, I feel like he's a great guy. Du har ikke svart på meldingene mine. To for sure. No, he putting her on her. Jeg har ikke ligget med broren din. Kan vi snakke? Jeg skal flytte. You're moving. Hør nå. Jeg lyser nå. At jeg aldri ville heller vet det. Jeg ville bare latt deg f***. Period, mamma. Så hvis du virkelig vil bli kvitt meg, så bør du møte meg for en prat. Ok.
I'm gonna talk right there with Chris there. There you go, 56. Mm. How long is it gonna be? Resten av livet, tror jeg. Mm. Vamos. Vamos. Wow. Det er bare slutt. Ja. Wow. Sir, you make it kind of hard for me to back you up. Jeg er kald for det der som jeg er. It's not who you are. And you can do that all you want. You can say that all you want. It's not who you are. Det er du som er så smak, liksom. Bare kan forsvare den drittsekke oppførselen for deg selv. But I feel like, can, you, can she really expect for him not to be in this mood right now? Because it's just like, there's a lot of history between him and his brother. And then add on top of that, her and like, too much. She can't expect for him not to be like that. Som eller, eller noe man blir. It's a choice, yep. It's a choice to be a a-hole. It really is. It doesn't cost anything or no effort to be nice to people. That's what valg. Og la han ikke gå ødelegge mellom oss. Cause that's what he wanted. That's what he wanted. Tro meg. Det vil du ikke. Oh. Hug that baby. You need a hug. Don't go. Please stay. Ja, jeg elsker. Vi må være sånn. You guys have to be. You have to be together. It's only the right of passage. Like, you legit have to be together. It's just like, no other choice. Jeg må stikke. Just like that, he just dip? Wow. I was not expecting that. Vil han ha dratt til London? For faen, han har dratt til... Mamma. Nei, han sa at han ikke var for... He's coming back! He's coming back! I'm not gonna cry. I'm so happy for them. Guys, that was episode 10 and 11. Oh, uh, I loved it. I feel like I, I love this episode. Like it's like one of the episodes that really made me feel. Um, Nora got some closure with the her and the um the Nico thing. Um, we got to like legit work out things out with our boo. He came back, we thought he was leaving. Oh, we got to see a breakthrough moment with Vilda who like was taking in everything that Nora was telling her episodes ago about like the, the importance of eating food when you're not necessarily like in the mood to because of your ED, right? And that moment there was just beautiful. Just them exchanging that, not even specifying what was actually going on. It was just beautiful. I, I, I love it so much. Um, mm. I love this episode. I'm so happy to end it on a good note. With that, like, I'm just, so, I'm just so happy. If you guys like this type of content, please like this this video. <laughs> please, please, please like this video. Um, also get this, you know, get this channel a subscribe if you have not subscribed here because a lot of you guys are not subscribed, but you guys are watching. So guys, if you like this type of content being put on this channel, please, please, please subscribe, right? Also comment in the comment section down below what movies or TV shows you would like for me to react to or make commentary on next. As I love doing this, I just love, you know, making this camaraderie about you guys. And oh, I will be finishing It's a Sin. It's just taking a little bit longer because I'm trying to finish up this season and also um, the Summer I Turn Pretty season. So yeah, be on the lookout for those videos as well um, coming soon within the next two weeks or so. But yeah, without further ado, I'm just gonna head on out. Um, I send everybody on the sound of my voice, a ton load, an abundance load of love, peace, and positivity. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.